morning everybody um happy wednesday to the world um i had a brilliant sleep last night prayed before i went to bed you know one man's prayer is another man's meditation you know so don't try not anybody be scared when i say the word prayer and um brilliant sleep i had a, over seven hours solid sleep I feel great this morning feel recharged feel energetic and I'm about just about to take the dog out. Now, I've already read a little bit of the Bible this morning, and I've already read my just for today, but I'm going to share it with you simply because, you know, I like it, and I think it's good, um, and I'm going to put it out there. And when you mention the Bible, a lot of people run a mile, you know what I mean? I don't, you know, this is just, it's personal to me. I'm getting so much out of it. Some of the Bible I have to read, you know, I have to read it over and over because... I don't interpret it fully. You know, it might take a little while for it to sit in, especially with this Bible. It's from 1941. It's all really old writing. So, you know, sometimes it can take a little while to settle in. But there is some that, you know, that, that, that resonate and that, you know, that, that I interpret them immediately. And I'm going to read a little bit from Romans, which is, it's my, I mean, it's my favourite, my favourite at the minute. I can't get enough of Romans at the minute. Um, but I'm going to read a little bit from Romans. And I'm going to read Romans 12, 10, and a little bit onwards, you know. And I'm going to read one or two things, and I'm just going to share it with you because I'm, it's, I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot out of it personally, you know. But you can take what you like from it. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love, in honour preferring one, other, one another. Be not slothful in business, for vent in spirit serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Now I'm going to read Romans 12.21, something which is powerful to me, something which I, you know continually plays over in my head. And that is, be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. I really like that one. And there's one more that I really like. And I'm going to finish it on this one for today. From the Bible. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be ordained are of God. I really like that one. I've already went over them a few times this morning. And, the, and, I, and I'm going to read my just for today. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my spiritual awakening, just for a minute or so. Just for today. How will I know when I have had a spiritual awakening? For many of us, a spiritual awakening comes gradually. Perhaps our first spiritual awakening is as simple as a new appreciation for life. Maybe one day we'll suddenly discover the sound of birds singing early in the morning. The simple beauty of a flower may remind us that there is power greater than ourselves at work. At work around us. Sorry, I hadn't quite finished that. Often, our spiritual awakening is something that grows stronger over time. We can strive for more spiritual awareness simply by living our lives. We can persist in efforts to improve our conscious contact through prayer and meditation on a daily basis. We can listen within for the guidance we need. We can question other addicts about their experiences with spirituality. We can take time to appreciate the world around us. Just for today, I will reflect on the spiritual awakenings I have experienced. I will strive to be God conscious. I will take time out in the day to appreciate my higher powers handiwork. Now, that's brilliant to me this morning. Um, my spiritual awakening, I first smoked DMT last year. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't advise anybody to do that. But I thought I came back with all the answers. I really did think I'd come back with all the answers. You know, but I was wrong. I mentioned this in my share the other night at the fellowship. You know, I was wrong. I didn't come back with all the answers. You know, and that spiritual awakening if you like that I thought I had gradually went away you know it gradually faded and faded you know and it just did but um like I say I prayed long and hard last time I was locked up 
And this prayer, like I said, like I said in my last chair, it turned into the deepest, most meaningful, powerful meditative state that I've ever been in. It, take, it took me away from being locked up. I was away, I was out. It was like a dream. I was completely gone. It was so vivid and clear. And I was with all my loved ones. And I've said this before, as I embraced some of my children, I could feel the fabric of their clothes with my hands. With my hands, I could feel it. That's how real it was. That, to me, was another spiritual awakening of a different kind, you know, because I feel like I was spoken to non-verbally by a higher power, explained to me that, you know, that I was, that I was, everything was going to be okay, and that, you know, I was, I was protected. I had this overwhelming feeling of a shield of protection, you know, which just, you know, encapsulated me. So... So I got out, you know, and I, 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 I decided to follow God, follow Jesus. And because um, say you say these words and sometimes they scare people, but this is personal to me. You know, I'm not projecting anything. I'm not telling anybody to do what I do. I'm just not. But everyone's free to make their own free will, see? Everyone's free to make their own choices. You know, and God willing, they will. You know, that's up to them, you know. Um, but, you know, for me, you know, I can't put the Bible down. I can't help it. I read it on the morning, I read it on the night. You know, and this Just For Today book is gold. It's gold. You know, this Bible for me, you know, it's an Old Testament with New Testament in the back. It's gold for me. I can't get enough of it at the minute. So, happy Wednesday to the world. Love to everybody. Um, go out today and make today your own. Don't forget the power of the pen. You know, write down what you would like out of your day for yourself, things that you can do for yourself. Write them down, you know, make a promise to yourself and stick to it. And, um, yeah, and I'm glad I wrote down what I wrote down yesterday. I'm glad I wrote down what I wrote down today. And, you know, and, and that, goes, that goes for every time I write something down. It's powerful. It means something. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Love to everybody. God bless.